Okay, now let's talk about citing our sources in the work we do. So let's say you had the assignment uh, to respond to the really long distance podcast. I create a new Google Doc, go up here, format it. English one, Zabba Zabba, whatever your section number is. Response, long distance. Your name, boom, go down to the top left, your name, the instructor's name, class, the date, go to the center, click, down to the left and start your response. I start out with a quick mini summary. Really long distance on This American Life is a powerful look at one way to grieve the loss of loved ones. Then, I, because it's a response, I don't want to keep saying things that everyone else who listened to it knows. I want to put my own unique analysis, thoughts, connections, and so on. So I start writing my response. Uh, it goes on for a few more sentences until I come to some brilliant conclusion. Okay. Then the new thing is to add a works cited section. So I go down, I insert what? What do I insert? Page break. That takes me to the next page. I center. Works. Cited. Keep this simple. Capitalized. Not bold. Not underlined. Not italics. Just centered. Go down. Go to the left. And then I need to cite my podcast episode. So what I can do is open a new tab and search This American Life, Really Long Distance, and see if anything pops up. There it is. Now sometimes you won't be able to find an episode number, and that's okay. Sometimes you'll have trouble with the author. Uh, in this case, we instantly get an episode number. It has a different title, and that's fine, because this is for the whole episode. And this is the title of just one act, so we have to make a decision which title to use. It's not really that big a deal one way or the other. This is the producer of this episode. For a podcast, you're often going to use the host of the whole show. In this case, that's Ira Glass. We have a date. So it looks like we're pretty much good to go. We have the web address up here. If I click, it'll give me the URL up there. So I go back. 
let me go back to my Google Doc, if I can find it. There it is. Down to my Works Cited. And the first thing I put is the author or host. Um, so, this, why don't I just put Meek, comma, Mickey. Try that. Meek, Mickey, period. Next up, the title of the episode. I'm going to go with the overall show. One last thing before I go. So I put quotes and I capitalize all the major words, period, quote. Then I'm going to turn on italics and put the name of the podcast itself, the show, This American Life. Comma, and I turn off italics. And if I have an episode number, I put EP period. And the episode is 597. And once you have one example, it's easy to do all the future citations by looking at that. And comma, let me put the date. September 23, 2016. period. And the last thing would be the web address, the URL. So I click on this and I copy it with command C. And then I go back here and I paste it with command V. So I put a space, it turns into a link. And that's a basic citation and a work cited. To really format it properly, the second line should be indented. And one way to do that on Google Docs is select your, your whole section and go up to the ruler. And I'll probably do this wrong, but I'm going to move this to 0.5. And this stays at 0. There we go. That's called a hanging indent. And if you're really good, double space it using this tool. There. If I also mentioned another uh, podcast, I would put it in alphabetical order by the last name. So if it was uh, Anna Sale with the other podcast, then I would put that down below. And if it was Ira Glass, G's before M, so I would put it up here. You don't put a space between the double spaced entries. And that is your first look maybe at the Works Cited page.